Okay, welcome back, brown owls and green parrots. I am Teacher Lachlan. We're here behind me on the whiteboard. We have our grammar for the week. It's a good mix of nouns, pronouns, verbs, joining them together. Okay, so on Monday, we have a list of 10 short sentences. I want you first, each noun, there's a noun underlined each one, but I don't want you to just look at the noun. I want you to look to see if you can read the sentence. Okay? See if there's any verbs in there. See if there's pro, uh, pronouns. See if there's any conjunctions in there. See if there's and in there as well. We were doing a couple of sheets solely on and, okay? So I want you to look at it from a, a bigger picture, okay? Number one, the store is open on Sunday. And what does this sheet want us to do? Okay, it's broken the nouns down into three things. Person, place, or thing. We normally have a fourth one, animal. We're gonna join that in with thing this week. So, let's go. Store, okay? It could be a person's name, but it doesn't have a capital S. It could, is it a thing or a place? Is it something you go to? Yes? then they have it down as a place. Okay, so generally, if you, you, if you can use it, it's a thing. If you go to it, it's usually a place. And a person is either a name or something they do, a teacher, okay? A brother, okay, uh, a coach, okay? So you've got the sentence down, but I want you to read the whole sentence, okay? And in the space here, underline, write down which one. Do you think it's a place, a person, or a thing? That's Monday. Tuesday, match the noun with the verb, okay? Here we have a list of 10 or so nouns, and here we have a list of 10 or so verbs. I want you to join them, okay? Like a book is a noun, but what do you do with a book? Read. Okay, so we have car, drive, okay? We have a razor, stairs, sea, the bed, ball, book, museum, food, pencil, and water, okay? Read them out and say, okay, if I had, if I had some food, what would I do? If I had some water, if I was in the sea, what would I be doing, okay? If I had a book, okay? If I wanted to go to the museum, how would I get there, okay? And have a look at all of these, okay? Try and match them up, okay? And see if you can then use it in a sentence. Like, we got into a car and we had a drive, okay? To the countryside. So that's Tuesday, trying to, make, trying to match the nouns and the verbs that will be in the same sentence together to talk about a single subject, okay? If we move on here, then we come into pronouns. I, we, he, they, you, us. We have our singular pronouns. We have our plural. We have ones which are possessive, or we, we own, or we are connected. I could say the students are going to the classroom. Or I could say the students are going to their classroom, okay? But that's something we'll get to in the future. For the moment, let's keep it as singular and plural. And in plural, we have a few, like we and us, where you are connected. Like we as a group, you're in the group. Again, us would be something that it belongs. It belongs to us. Possession, or be you belong to something. Us, okay? Then you have they, them, their, when you are not connected to the group. And then you have I, me, my, him, her, he, she, okay? You, you can be plural. You can say you talking to a, per a person and you talking to a group, okay? So we have the pronouns at the start are in the sentence underlined, okay? I don't want you to only focus on the words that are underlined. I want you to focus on the whole sentence. Again, read it out. Do you notice any verbs or nouns that are in the sentence, okay? 
And each one gives you a choice, four choices. So like number two says, you and I like cookies. Okay, now you and I, it means you're talking about me and you, your friend. So that's a group, but it, it's one where you are belonged to the group, okay? So you have a choice of the five pronouns there, but and again, have a look, can you see any verbs? Cake, pie, cookies, go. Yeah, you're going somewhere. Where are you going? The movies. To give, okay? To tell, okay? There's some there which it's down the road, yeah? They can have different tenses, for, especially for verbs, the action words, okay? To stand, I stood, I will be standing. But again, further on down. But I just want you to just have a look, see what you notice, okay? We'll keep it nice and simple. And then uh, on Friday here, we have just four. They don't form a sentence. They could, you could put them in a sentence if you, if you want. That's something that we might do on Friday. So if we can put bed in his window in a sentence, we will have to add more, but let's see if we could do it, okay? But it's telling you to circle the verb, okay? What is a verb again, okay? An action word, a to-do word, okay? You're doing something, your body's doing something, your mind is doing something, or has done something, okay? So we've got nouns, person, place, thing, pronouns. Short words that take the place of a noun, yeah? Of a person or a place, okay? And then we have verbs, action words, to-do words, okay? So curtain, flows, with wind, pillow, pink, under, toss. Have a, read some of them and have a look, see which one would you be doing, okay? And then on Friday, we're gonna see if we can put them, jumble them around, add another couple of words, see if we can make a sentence out of that. Just having a look here on Wednesday. Again, they're the ones with the random, random words and you have to circle the verb. But in things like that, what I want you to do is also have a look at the words that you didn't circle. Why are they not a verb? And if they're not a verb, what are they? Are they a noun? Okay, so that's what I want you to start doing. Even though the page might say circle a verb, then I want you to underline the nouns. We're going to, this is a revision, revision next five weeks or so, but we're going to get the maximum out of each worksheet, okay? It might ask us one thing, but we're gonna see if we can do two, three, two things from it, even three, maybe even four, as we move on, okay? So that's the grammar for this week. Next up, we're going to have a short video on the phonics. And again, phonics will be revision. We're going to be going back over and we're going to be, as I say, articulating. The mouth is going to over move. Yes, so we'll be back to you shortly. Thank you for listening about the grammar.